Sunbox is one of the most powerful music creation tools out there for iOS. You can really create an entire song with just the app alone. Uh, it has uh, synthesizer modules and a lot to choose from, a lot that you can create. And it also has um, beats. Uh, you can you can um, create uh, basses, you know, like bass drums, snares, hi-hats. So it's a really powerful unit. You can do just about anything with it. It has so many incredible features, but I'm going to focus on the dynamic effects. Um, they recently added these effects and it's opened up a lot of possibilities with the app. It's turned it from just a synthesizer and beat module to something that you can actually use with your electric guitar or bass in this case. But it's really incredible and has a lot of ways that you can enhance your sound. So if you like what you hear, please remember to hit that li uh, the like button, the thumb, and like and subscribe, if you don't mind. So here's my bass dry by itself, not going through Sunbox. That's through AUM. That's my host. Now, initially, Sunbox comes loaded with uh, like songs, basically. So I like to, okay, so just to give you a little idea, um, you can pull down the keyboard. So you hear it's a uh, synthesizer. bass, all kinds of stuff. You can just, like I said, create an entire song. So I'm going to get rid of that uh, keyboard part, and I'm going to load a new song. Or actually, new project, and you create empty. So initially what you get with that empty project is just an output. So to create an effects module, you have to add an input. So what I do is in this little area, the blank area where your modules go, I double tap on it and then I add input, which is down there. Input. Now, I believe you'll be able to see right at this point that there's something going in it. I'll hit my bass. You can't hear it, but you can see it. So now you have to make your connection. This is where I got a little bit tripped up with this app because I kept just randomly hitting the boxes. And you'll notice when you make a connection, you want to tap on what you want to have connected first. So in this case, I'm tapping input. There's like a little in the right upper corner below the uh, little transport bar with the record, play, pause, and all that. Um, there's a little connection icon. You tap on that, and then you tap to where you want it to go. So here I go. Tap to output. Now you'll see there's a, a little white wire looking object that has a moving dot on it that's moving in the direction that the sound's going to go. So it's moving in the direction of output. So I've got my input moving to output. And you really have to pay attention to this because uh, I, at first I, I wasn't able to get a lot, some of the modules to make sounds and it was all my fault because I wasn't connecting them right. So here you'll hear, it sounds just like it did through AUM by itself. So I'm gonna undo the connection and I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't have it the right way. Say like you, you tapped um, you tapped on output first, 
and then you made your connection. So here's what will happen. Got your little connection screen going. I've got output highlighted. Now I tapped on input. And you can see the little white dot is going from output to input, and you won't hear anything. Very simple. But it confused me at first. I th couldn't figure it out, and I was about ready to send the developers a email crying for help. But then I figured it out. And it was all because of those direction. So now I'm going to add reverb. It has a very nice reverb unit. So scroll down, forgive me, I don't have my glasses on, so it's gonna take me a second to find what I want. Echo filter, flanger, there's reverb. Okay, so now I've got my reverb unit, just like in my thumbnail. So tap on output first, tap on the connection icon, Tap on reverb. Still no sound. So now you see that reverb is highlighted. Tap your connection. Tap to output. And now the beauty begins. <laughs> And that's just the beginning reverb that you get. If you tap on your reverb, sorry, I have to put my glasses on to be able to see this. And you scroll. First thing I'd like to adjust is the room size. Changes the dynamics of it. Now you can change your feedback. Just gorgeous. I'm a sucker for reverb, and I, I know a few other developers, or not developers, but YouTubers that say that too. So you can change just like you can on any effect. So I'm going to shorten the feedback so it doesn't sustain as endlessly. Lovely. And that's just the reverb. There's a lot to select from. So when I double tap, you can see there's just a ton of apps. So I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but um, here, I'll add, in a I'll add a flanger. Now, the neat thing about this app is that you don't have to run them in a chain. You can create uh, this effect's own chain. And I'll show you the difference between the two of them like that. So you select your output. Well, in this case, I'm going to get rid of, uh, I'm going to get rid of the connection. I'm going to add flanger. I'm going to add flanger to the chain just to show you. I just got to get rid of this. 
All right, so now I've got the flanger before the reverb. So that's with the flanger in the chain. I can take the flanger out and I can put it in its own little space and still have the reverb. So here I got, I'm going to put the flanger in its own little world, connect the flanger to the output. So here it is by itself. So now I'm going to add reverb to its own little chain too. So now I've got both flanger and reverb in their own chain, separate, but yet working together. So you see where you can go with this. It's virtually endless. And it's inspiring. Another requirement that I have for my apps that I use, they have to inspire me. And this definitely inspires me. So I'm going to get rid of the flanger, double tap on it, hit delete. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So now I just got the reverb. All right, let me get a little more feedback in there. So now I'm going to add echo. I'm not going to go too deep with every effect that's in there. I'm just going to go with a lot of the effects that I, I like and that I have actually worked with. So I've got my echo. I'm going to do the echo before the reverb. Select my output. Direct the output to the echo. I'm going to break the chain. I'm going to break the chain with the input from uh, the reverb. So now I've got echo in the chain with reverb. So here we go. change some parameters here. So you see where this is going to take you. You would have never thought. That a synthesizer 
workstation, I'll call it a workstation, would be a great app for reverb, echo. It has EQ and LFO. I mean, you really, oh yeah, one thing that <clears throat> was cool here. I don't know if I saved it, but the LFO filter is really cool. I'll get rid of this uh, echo. And I'm going to add LFO to the mix here. Select input. You always have to remember to select what you want it to be connected to first. Reverb. Now we've got a complete chain. Now check this out. This was cool. <laughs> Get a little more of a Motown sound. telling you every effect that you choose in there is going to have something that inspires you so I definitely highly recommend getting this app um, like I said it's they've the update that they did just opened a, an immense doorway to creativity and to turn it into something more than just your standard uh, synthesizer workstation they took it to another level so if you don't have it, definitely get it. I appreciate you watching. And remember to be kind, like, and subscribe.